Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be testing out the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. Now, I've seen this pen doing the rounds on Instagram and it looks quite interesting, so I thought that I would test it out for myself. This product claims to transform sparse brows. Perfect, I mean, come on. It says that it has a four-prong unique micro comb tip to create natural like hair strokes and is able to draw precise lines that mimic brow hair. So I'll just give you a little close up of what the tip actually looks like. So you can see that it's got the four little prongs there on the tip and it's actually made of like a felt I would say, it's not solid. It does seem a little gimmicky to me and a lot of the reviews I've read online are very mixed so let's just get straight into it, test it out, and see how it goes. And also, can we just forgive my hair, please? I know I've been saying this in like a lot of my videos recently, but it's just this regrowth process, like it's a mission. And right now, it's just not looking very nice. I am happy with the growth though. As you can see, it flicks out here. But if I like pull that down straight, it's well past my ear. Like, oh, oh, it's growing so fast. Not long now, and it'll be looking okay, but right now, just forgive this. Thank you very much. So I have the lighter shade Blonde. There are four in the range in total. I picked mine up from Priceline. It retails for $22.95, but of course I got it on sale for 30% off, as if I buy anything full price. So there are some instructions on the back of the packaging here. It says, angle micro comb tip across brows and draw hair like strokes from anchor to tail. Repeat as desired. Um, for optimal wear, do not use cleansing products in the eyebrow area during wear. <sighs> no shit. <laughs> okay, that doesn't give me as much information as I would like. So let me just pop online real quick. All right, so I just watched a tutorial in she held it a few different ways and just tested it out, so I think I'll do the same thing. I do just want to test it on the back of my hand though to see what I'm working with. All right, let's just give it a go. All right, so the line I feel is a little bit harsh. I might just go in again with a bit of a softer touch to feather out the front. I think that looks pretty nice along the front there. Let me just... When I normally do my brows, I also like to fill in along the top. So I might take this and use it in like downward motions and see if I can get that to work. So far, so good. Now let's work on the tail. Oh. I'm just not sure how I'm going to draw the ends, you know? Okay, so before I go ahead and clean this up with concealer, my first impressions. First up, the color. It looks like it's pulling a little orange in the monitor, but when I look into my mirror, it is a nice shade. Um, I just, I think that it worked well at the front of my brows here. It does look quite natural, but the tail here, I found that I was just drawing it on rather than doing the strokes and it's kind of defeating the purpose but I was struggling to get the strokes to work for the tail end of my brow. I'll just clean it up with some concealer and then I'll zoom right in and show you what it looks like. Okay so here is the close-up of my brow. You can kind of see the hair like strokes at the front here but I don't know, it just doesn't look as natural and like hairy as I thought it would. 
And then down the end here where I'm very sparse, it doesn't look hair like at all. It just looks like product on my skin. So not too sure about that. And tell me what you think. Leave me a comment down below. All right, let's try the other brow. All right, so I'm just starting out with the tail end on this side and I'm just going to try and do more of the flicks instead of like turning it on the side and doing the straight stroke. So I'm just kind of push the hairs down with the brush and then push on the skin to get the product out. Then I'm just gonna push my hairs back up into place. All right, let's just go ahead with the front of the brow. See how dark it is? I don't like that. So I'm just gonna brush it out. Then as I said before, I feel like I'm brushing out the stroke effect. All right, I'm just going to brush my hairs down now and then fill them in from the top. All right, I've had to turn it back onto like the straight edge to get more of a defined line on the top of my brow and for the tail. All right, so again, I'm just going to take some concealer and clean that brow up. All right, so here is a close up of this brow. So I do think my brows look all right, even though they are a bit crooked, but hey, sisters not twins. Am I right? I think this product is a little bit finicky and hard to get used to. I will definitely keep trying it and let you know what I think in a future video, but I think it would work best for someone who actually has quite full brows in the tail, but they're quite sparse up the front. It would be easier just to draw a straight line and flick the product up along the front to get that looking more natural, then to try and fill in the tail like I did. So yeah, if you've got more full brows at the end, but more sparse in the middle, I think this would be a good product for you. For someone like me, I'll keep giving it a go, but I don't know if it's really my jam. Make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of this product and if you've tried it out or not, if it worked or didn't work for you. I would love to know your thoughts. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!